Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another test driven development video. It's been about a week since I recorded the last video, but as I recall, I was trying to do a little bit of a spike to confirm whether or not the application model could work the way I wanted it to. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to do a lot of tests and write a lot of code uh, to do something that's not going to work. So uh, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue down that road, just try to get that model to change in response to the text field changing. And the reason it didn't work before was because the model was creating a new stock market table every single time. So what I'm going to do is uh, just have this uh, stick it in a variable for now. I've had some people complain that I'm not using um, <laughs> the the shortcut keys enough, and what can I say? It's it's got a it's it's my habits, and uh, it would be slower for me to try to change those habits than to just go with what works for me. So uh, for those of you who want to donate a kidney to fly to Portland, um, well, please don't donate a kidney. But if you come to Portland, I'd be happy to pair with you. <laughs> so um, anyway. That should still work just as well as it did before. And I'm hoping this will cause this value to change. It didn't. Uh, problem is, is that I'm I'm spiking something. Like I said in a previous video, uh, the problems with trying to spike something in your actual application code is that um, you can't you can't narrow the problem down enough. I don't know if the problem is in this or if some interaction with this or if I'm doing this wrong. I mean, I don't know why this isn't working. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it either because this isn't you know it's not actually tested code. It's it's spike code. So. Um, I am not sure why this isn't working. And I'm not sure that it matters. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and comment this spike code out. I, you know, I, I don't see that this is adding a lot of value right now. So, I do think we want the stock market table model to be the same every time. So let's go ahead and write a test around that. Just as a reminder, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the point where we can have the application model uh, implement a method that's something like, you know, change or set starting balance and um, have that automatically update the table. And the question I have is how how can that work? And my, my thought is that the application model can change the table, uh, change the table model, and that will automatically update the UI. But I don't know that that actually works that way. Um, so maybe what I need to do is go do a real spike on this and, and make sure that will work. But first, I'm, I'm just going to write a little test which says that uh, we should always uh, we should only have uh, one instance of stock market table model. Uh, another way to say that is that we want see if we take this code we want model dot stock market let's see we want model dot stock market table model to equal model dot stock market table model uh, we want those to be the same instance uh, the same instance and right now that's not true So that's failed, and now
how it should pass. And there we go. Okay. And uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for the moment and just go into the swing spike and see if I can explore the question of changing the table more directly. I'm not worried about I'm not worried about whether or not the events work. I just want to make sure the table will work. Um, and Let's see, is there a way to... Yeah, actually, you know, I, I think it's okay. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, if it doesn't work out, then, you know, oh well. I think it's going to work just fine. So let's go ahead and continue on. What I need to do is to have application model when the method uh, set starting balance is called, it needs to tell the uh, stock market table model to use a different projection, which means stock market table model needs to have the ability to uh, change its projection. So I'm going to write a little bit of code around that. So right now we have all this stuff. Um, yeah, let's, let's make a method about um, setting the projection. Now, set projection would be the most Java-ish way to do it. I don't really like that, uh, that style. Maybe I'll call it uh, reset projection or update projection. Well, for now, I think I'll just say set projection. Well, we can always change it later. So what I want to say is that we're going to have, we're going to want to call set projection with some sort of new projection. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of, uh, for some reason, this is, this is causing me to get lost a bit. Um, but that's all right. So when we set the projection, what needs to happen? We're going to set the projection and at that point, not only do we need to change the actual projection, which by the way is misnamed here now, um, Not only do we need to change the projection, but we need to fire a table data change event, I think. And that's that's actually why we need a spike on this. So you know, I, I do need to spike this. I need to figure out how this is going to work before I start writing tests on it. Uh, and that means just sort of hacking away a bit. And luckily I've got everything in Git, so I can just redo. So I'm going to I'm going to just write some methods. And it's not that I mean the the reason I'm doing this rather than testing it is because test driven development works really well when you know what you want to what code you want to write, but right now I don't know which code I want to write. I don't know what's the right thing here. So um, I'm I'm flying blind and that makes it really difficult to test. So if I do a set projection uh, like this, that will change the underlying uh, data, but it won't. I don't think it's going to tell the UI that it needs to update. So I need to add uh, 
a you know prior table data update or something like that to uh, to this step projection method. But I'm not going to do it yet because I'm not sure if I really need to do that. Okay, so we've got that. Now an application model, when we we need a method to set the starting balance or update the starting balance, but I'll use the Java convention. And what that means is we're going to need a new stock market projection. And for now, because this is a spike, uh, I'm going to just pack it in like this. I'm sure there's a way to get Eclipse to format that right, but uh, I don't know what it is. So instead of using the default, we'll just use the starting balance. We're not going to return the new stock market projection. We will just assign it, and then we'll set the stock market table model to use it. So that should uh, cause it to fire off. It should that should cause things to change, and then here. should be able to do this, except I am going to just say new dollars um, like that. Okay, I'm going to run the test, not that it should matter since none of the, what I just wrote was tested. Um, that I don't think will work because I haven't put in the this fire table data update thing that I think is going to be necessary. Okay. Yeah. Um, but now if I go into stock market table model and have this say Fire table data change. Let's see. It notifies all listeners that all cell values may have changed. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So, does that work? Well, again, the test should be irrelevant in this case. Ah, perfect. Okay, it does work. So that's that's the target. That's where we need to go. We need to get this to the point, uh, so we need to rewrite this code properly with tests. And uh, that's going to be a bit tricky, but uh, that's what we'll do next time. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will catch you next time.